the Office of Naval Research, Innovations for the Future Force. They work on the decks of ships with sailors and in the field with Marines. They advise with admirals and generals, consult with officers and enlisted, making sure the United States Navy and Marine Corps will always have the lead in cutting-edge technology. They're called science advisors. They work for the Office of Naval Research Global. This is their story. Science advisors report to major Navy and Marine Corps commands worldwide focused on delivering what the warfighters need and developing new technologies for all domains of naval warfare, including air, ocean surface, subsurface, and expeditionary. As we consider the Navy and Marine Corps today, um, we are a technology-based organization. And it's important that uh, we are in a position to observe and take advantage of those technologies that could add value to the application of naval power. The development of new science and technology is at the core of the Office of Naval Research, or ONR, and its international arm, the Office of Naval Research Global. And ONR Global Science Advisors are at the center of the action. They are the eyes and ears of the warfighter, and the bridge between the front lines and the research labs. They're the, the lifeline from the fleet to the s and community. You have to be a go-getter, you have to be hungry. You have to be the person that wants to get up and do something about a problem that a fleet or force has. Yeah, we try and get out there and you know get our feet wet and uh, do things with the fleet, get up in F-18s, uh, get out on submarines, get out on surface ships, go play around with the Marines. Uh, that's a big part of our job, and if we're in the office all day, we're not really getting out there and uh, understanding the true needs of the sailor and the Marine. Science advisors were key players in the major fleet exercise Unmanned Warrior which put unmanned autonomous technologies from the U.S., U.K., and other allied nations to rigorous real-world testing. They have been the driving force behind a host of sensors and systems on ships today and for the ships of the future. And they helped ONR partner with another governmental agency, DARPA, to develop Talons, a towed parasail that will give U.S. sailors a vastly improved range for intelligence. You put a parasail up in the air and you put a sensor on top of it so it's way, way up in the air so now you can see beyond the horizon. Greatly increases our situational awareness for not only detecting potential targets out there but tracking them and doing some surveillance ops as well. But it's not just all big operational ideas. A science advisor's work goes from the skies all the way to the deck plate. For instance, science advisors worked with ONR's Tech Solutions program to develop a new composite tow boot for sailors, built for comfort while maintaining safety standards. Every day is different, every command is different, every commander is different. I get everything from ammunition to water filtration to biometrics to sleep studies. And then of course Unmanned Systems has truly entered our picture as being a, a true technology that will help the warfighters. For the Marine Corps it's, it's especially important because uh, there are a lot of uh, a lot of small problems that Marines identify that are that have solutions that are out there. For today's science advisors, it's not just a job; it's an adventure. There's a, a couple things that are very rewarding to the science advisor. One is the satisfaction of knowing that they're supporting the national defense of the country and national security by being immediately in with the warfighter. That is unbelievably inspiring for most of these folks. And so you may have a science advisor flying in the back seat of a Hornet. You may have a science advisor out deployed with the Marines in the field. You may have a science advisor going subsurface with a submarine somewhere. And it's critical that they do that, not only because it's fun and cool, but that's how they learn where the deficiencies and the capabilities are so that they can address those things with the s and needs and capabilities. It's cool because you're allowed to travel places all over the world and see aircraft carriers and Navy and Marine Corps warfighting capabilities. We do things such as training systems, heads-up displays that the pilots use to do training. We want to develop those kind of technologies. As information in the modern age is easier to find than ever before, including by our adversaries, making sure U.S. warfighters have the best technologies in the world is crucial. There's any number of technologies that are on the horizon. The adversaries are getting faster, 
they're leveraging things like big data, Internet of Things, all of that. So part of the Science Advisor's job is to be aware and know who to reach out to in, uh, in cases of emerging technology, be able to articulate that quickly to allow them to make an informed, rapid decision. Science Advisors come from diverse backgrounds. Many are engineers who have worked at Naval Warfare Centers. They serve a three-year term bringing new technologies to bear for America's sailors and Marines. We look for high, high energy people. We look for people that are self-starters, people that can work independently. It's a diverse set of daily routine and battle rhythm for every science advisor. We're able to actually relay that information quicker and make that translation between the warfighter and the engineer and hopefully push out solutions quicker and make sure that our warfighters always have the advantage. I had the opportunity to deploy on carriers, to bring technology to the carriers and have the, the CEO of the ship during the post-deployment brief, ask for more. I flew an MV-22s, I flew an F-18s. It was the best job that I will probably ever have in my life. This is the Science Advisor Program. These men and women know that science and technology will be the critical factor in giving the warfighters the tools they need to succeed. This is our job. We need to accelerate what we're doing with a sense of urgency to get the answers into the hands of our sailors and Marines. For more information, contact the Office of Naval Research.